All right, so we're gonna look at a kit here that is to help a puppy that has a flat chest. And so they're not on our website yet, but I think they will be fairly soon. So what you've got is you've got basically these are little casts that go around the puppy's chest. And I'm gonna put one on a puppy here in a moment. And you get six different chart sizes to choose from. So um, Tammy, take a look at puppies here. Puppies sleep away. Open up the door. Hi, Mama Kit. So that's the other kit. Yep, that's right. So we're gonna put this on one of the puppies. They're all happy as clams in here, but none of them have got flat chests. But I wanna show you the technique. Yeah. Um, all right. None of them have a flat chest, is right. what James is saying. Right, okay. And so what are you gonna do? Come on, oh, come here, there you go. All right, this is Valentina. You should have raised up the, the bed. Yes, yes. <laughs> all right. So over this way, Tammy, take a look. Okay. So I, it comes with some a double, some kind of a tape that sticks to itself and you thread the thing up like this. Uh -huh. And the way that they show it on the video, they're passing the puppy through it like this, but I had actually better luck just spreading it out and just popping it on its chest. Well, that was probably a smaller puppy too. All right, so this puppy is what, five weeks old. So I just spread it out and there it goes on there pretty easily. Now, if you're gonna leave this on for any length of time, which you would do, it, it'd probably be, it probably makes sense to put some cotton lining on the inside of this. But there it is, it's on there. It's pretty easy to put on. Right, so now what happens is, these little straps that we've developed, they go over the puppy's arms, front legs, because we don't want the whole thing sliding back. So there's one, here's the other. Oh, your hands are in the way. There we go. And then, there it is, right there. And then on the video, they show it going all the way around the puppy yeah. and coming back onto itself. Yeah. But uh, for the sake of brevity here, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just going to uh, tie it up like this. And I, I wouldn't leave it this way because I think a pup, a mama would uh, chew this up here. But, but basically you can put it around. But you can see um, she's not upset by this thing being on her at all. And uh, I think it's a good idea. I mean, so, you know, it really helps push the sides of the, of the chest in, which makes the chest pu push back out. So that's the whole idea Turn behind sideways, it. sideways, please. Yeah, there you go. So there it is, very simple. Um, oh, she says I'm nervous. Kit, come here. Now, also at the same time, I would highly Kit. recommend that you start by Stuff. taping um, the puppy's legs up. And uh, I'll just do that very quickly here. I don't know how much success I'll have doing this by myself. It's much easier if somebody holds a it? puppy up. But the whole idea oh, behind no. taping the puppy's legs up is it gets them off their chest in the first place. So I think the first thing to do any time that you have a puppy that's having some issues is to get these back legs taped up because that will get the puppy off his chest. And then if you think you're developing a flat chest or it's not working the way you want, then it would be to add this to it as well. And you've got videos of that. Yeah, I've got videos YouTube of that, yes. So, so I'm just going to it. just briefly show you. Tape's a little bit too wide. Let me just probably doesn't fall off the table. Just gonna cut this back a little bit. Alrighty. So that's what's going on. Goodness sake. What's he doing to you, Valentina? What's him doing to you? What's up my baby? This is my baby. What's him doing to you? Your nose is filling in, isn't it? Yes, it is. This is Kit's babies. She's a mahogany pied. Your you hero. There it is. Back legs taped up. Chocolate. That'll, that'll make a puppy get up on his back legs right away. So yeah, the combination- It's not very tight. No, it's not. Yeah. I've done, not done a very good job on it, but, but you can see the idea there. And there's videos just on that part. But there it is. I mean, it's really, um, and we'll just pop her in and see what she does. Turn that off while Tammy takes some pictures. Don't turn, don't turn off my oven. Just hit the timer button. Where it says time. Oh, what? What? Pretty little girl. Yes, I'm talking about you too, Kit. Okay, James. Okay. All right, everybody. Hey, thanks for watching the, the video. 
Uh, I really appreciate people who subscribe to me. It helps me, encourage me to do more of these videos. But do remember, disclaimer here, I am not a vet. I'm not a licensed medical professional. I'm purely a person who's been breeding dogs for the last couple of decades. Any information that you got from this video, use at your own risk. There's nothing implied here, and certainly this is, should not be used as a substitute for advice from your veterinarian or your medical professional. I hope you enjoyed the video. Come back for more of them. Bye. Thank you.